the end of this week. We just turn this down. So I wholeheartedly admit, last night the video has taken way too long to upload to uh, Dropbox. So I deleted it. Great bloke, um, and lost the beginning of the talking of why um, we were doing what we were doing this week, basically. So, um, well, here I am, you'll just have to listen to me bang on now after the fact rather than before it. Started this week with pretty much an, a, a completely empty van. Um, and now, yeah, we're, um, we're here and we're kind of, 10th of the way, I'd say. Um, loads left, absolutely loads left to do. I mean, don't get me wrong, um, loads have been done this uh, this week and the boys have put a, a, a bunch of hours in. Um, but yeah, we kind of, uh, the scale of the job is, 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 is sort of dawning on us now, but we're a few leaps ahead now um, than... What are you saying, Stu? Say the last episode, so this will be episode three. Um, I'll try and uh, we've got videos for, for, of what was done before this episode, um, but we'll try and ch chop that into this one somehow. Uh, you'll just have to deal with the huge leap between number two and number three. Not how I wanted to do it, but it's in a professional environment. I suppose that's how it how it works out. Um, we've had plenty of other stuff left to do. Ollie's here today. He's um, Hiding around here somewhere. There he is in the fab room. Come to say hello. He's a lovely RS4. Which we've done, you know, various full active system, deadening, all sorts of stuff in there. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll probably put something else together so that I can explain what's going on in the time lapse because there's tons of time lapse um, in this. Uh, the reason I deleted that video was I tried to like live record um, a lot of what went on and it was like eight hours long and it's super, you know, pretty, uh, pretty rad system going together. It's just playing. I'm enjoying the way that it sounds already. So done the FIR firmware update to the Bit1 HD, which makes a ridiculous difference. If you're running nine channels or less, get on that. It's a um, the finite impulse response firmware for the Bit1 HD. Cheers guys, thank you. There's things I haven't told you, I go out late at night, and if I was to tell you, you'd see my different side. There's things... I haven't told you, I go out late at night And if I was to tell you, you'd see my different side There's things I haven't told you, I go out late at night And if I was to tell you, you'd see my different side There's things I haven't told you, I go out late at night And if I was to tell you, you'd see my different side There's things I haven't told you, I go out late at night And if I was to tell you, you'd see my different side What the fuck? We don't care what you say I'ma do my thing from day to day We don't care what you think Cause in this world, it's swim or sink What the fuck? We don't care what you say I'ma do my thing from day to day We don't care what you think
Some strange audiophile uh, moan about how you shouldn't how you shouldn't wrap power cables up. Some, uh, someone will move on. It increases resistance. Yeah. It, but we should wrap an RCA up in a power cable. <laughs> Set the fucking world on fire. Oh no, do I think I've jumped one? Well.
must have been agonising to watch. What's that? <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> Just the world's longest A-pillar install. <laughs> They're such a pain in the arse. <laughs>